All right, hey, what's going on, guys? It's Tato, and today we're gonna be reacting to Sheeple by Tom McDonald. Um, I just woke up, and two, I don't have internet, so I can only react to this in 480p, which sucks. Um, <laughs> I am running off a hotspot that is on my phone right now, currently. It's a bitch. Uh, Hurricane Ian. That was a bitch. Absolutely hated it. <laughs> I don't think anybody liked it, to be honest. I just fucking hated it. For my personally, I don't even want to tell you the amount of books I've bought in the last two weeks. And the fact that I couldn't upload for two weeks as well. On top of that. Which sucks, but I would love to keep my consistency, but there were forces beyond my own doing that. I literally couldn't, so, yeah. I was debating if I wanted to record this in, like, a parking lot, but I was like, I don't feel like leaving the house. I'm just going to flip my hotspot on. All right, let's just get into this. I need to stop rambling. <laughs> been controlled since the day that they were civilized the truth has been so heavily politicized if you don't know who's controlling you and killing all the little guys find out who you're not allowed to criticize black i like that line there um ugh. um where he controlled says the day that they were civilized the truth has been so heavily politicized the truth has been so heavily politicized uh ain't that the fucking truth anybody with common sense would know that <laughs> But then again, there's a lot of people that don't have common sense these days, so. Wouldn't put it past them. They think things that are said on the news are the truth. When they're not, not all the time. Not even close. It's either that or they fucking politicize the hell out of it, so. He's not wrong. If you don't know who's controlling you and killing all the little guys, find out who you're not allowed to criticize. Black folks who were never ever actual slaves, fighting with white folks who ain't actual Nazis, controlled by rich folks who use the news to make hate, while elite folks control other political parties. It's a big lie. He blew everything in 2020 wide open there. What the fuck? He completely blew that wide open. Let me go back. Actual slaves fighting with white folks who ain't actual Nazis. Controlled by rich folks who use the news to make hate. While elite folks control other political parties. It's a big lie. Trying to make you pick sides. Trying to make you burn the cities down and kill each other. They got sick minds. Big mm. lies. Deep on the police so that there's big crime. To take away our freedom to restore order they let die. Play with people. Turn men into women. Make the counterculture mainstream to mix up the system. Change the pronouns. The gender is a spectrum. So is Ah. Ah, this is the first thing I, I've been thinking about this recently on how that they were making the counter the, the previous counterculture the mainstream I found that absolutely I, I, I just found it fascinating um because I was looking at this I'm like wait a minute weren't these people the counterculture at one point technically weren't some of the people that were with there that are within either like the left or whatever you want to call it at this point um were the counterculture for a long ass time. And then they turned it mainstream. Because I, I, I was thinking about that for a long time. Um, wow. I'm actually surprised that he said it. <laughs> Make the counterculture mainstream to mix up the system. Change the pronouns. The gender is a spectrum, so is privilege. I know poor white folks and black celebrities with millions. They starve you with a lack of information. Yeah, uh, something about that privilege line. I did this just reminding me of where something I w some, somewhere I went yesterday. Actually, I went to a bookstore. Surprise, surprise, surprise! You know, when I have no internet, um, there was a whole current affairs section, and there was a shit ton of books on white privilege. I am not even kidding you. I read the descriptions of most of them and just w was just laughing out loud because. A lot of the stuff that's in there is so fucking goofy. I mean, th there was like one or two that were good, okay? There was one or two where I was reading a little bit into it, and it was okay. You know, it didn't really bother me. But there was some where it was so outrageous, where it was like, okay, how can I not make fun of this? It was so fucking funny. <laughs> that's all I have to say about that one, though. Because there wasn't really much else there, other than, you know, other, you know, insurrection bullshit, but... 
It's not an insurrection when it happens in a small town, but once it happens to you, oh my god. Death to, um, death to all them people. More white folks and black celebrities with millions. They starve you with a lack of information and only give you facts through a branded corporation. Distort your worldview with an algorithm that changes based on propaganda curated for your engagement. Mm. We can be free. Can't have no peace till we're on the same team. But y'all are sheep. Blue the screen's just part of the machine. Y'all are sheep. Top. This is a good hook. What? Damn, bruh. Damn. Solid hook. Way different sound compared to what I'm used to from him. Oh my god. Controlling your mouth, you say lit, fleek, bet, cap. They're trying to dumb you down. They endorse whatever narrative is popular to shout and use minorities in movies for diversity clout. Too s mm, that one I want to talk about. More specifically, I want to dive into one specific, like a specific one that I absolutely want to throat punch Warner Bros. for. Um. What the fuck did you guys do to my Scooby Doo? When I from from when I was a kid, what the fuck did y'all do to it? I'm serious. Because to be all inclusive, I think Velma's Indian, Fred is still white. Um Daphne's Asian and I I, I know and Shaggy's black. Yeah. I like some of the takes, but you don't completely change a show just because you want to be inclusive and because it is and when it does come out if people start hating on it you're just going to call it racism even though it's just bad writing so i mean they literally did that just so they could pull a race card when they don't have anything to write about when they don't have a good writing at all in the show it's salt with she hulk with the sexism thing we're gonna i'm, I'm we're gonna see it again with scooby-doo so because there nobody want nobody wants it so i mean you don't destroy something that was already perfect just because you want to be inclusive. <laughs> Alright, I need to stop rambling so much on that part. Because I I could talk for an hour about that. I could rant for an hour about that. I'm not going to do that. Whatever narrative is popular to shout and use minorities in movies for diversity clout. Two sides on the spectrum, but ain't none of them honest. Took the red pill and the blue pill, spit them both in the garbage. Being woke used to mean you understood you're a target, and now it's having two good legs. That's a good bar. Basically, he says, screw the left and the right. I took the blue pill and the red pill and spit them out. Or threw them away, whatever he said. Threw them out. Put them both in the garbage. Threw them both in the garbage. Go back. Minorities and movies for diversity clout. Two sides on the spectrum, but ain't none of them honest. Took the red pill and the blue pill, spit them both in the garbage. Being woke used to mean you understood you're a target. And now it's having two good legs and never taking a step forward. If Ooh, I'm not going to go too much in on that. Y'all already know what that means. You agree it's free speech. Disagree it's hate speech. Erase it if it can. Agree it's fit agree it's fee uh free speech. Disagree it's hate speech. That goes both ways. Hard to believe it for some people. It, it's hard to believe for some people, but it goes both ways. It's not just left, it's not just right. Cause I know people on the right that have very similar views to people on the left. And I'm being dead serious about that. There's a lot of people on the right that actually have very similar views to the people on the left because they want to give them the same treatment that they've been giving them. They want to give each other the same treatments. So, I know people on both sides. It goes both ways. You can't even argue with that. It's a fact. And that's why I am not a left or right because that shit... I, I, this is why I try to stay up as much out of politics as I can most of the time. I mean, I don't really like politics anymore. It's not... For a while, I was like, I do political videos and then I just stopped because I didn't feel like doing them anymore. <laughs> Never taking a 
step forward. If you agree, it's free speech. Disagree, it's yep. hate speech. Erase it if it came from anywhere except the mainstream. Trump supporters labeled as the racist, but they can't be. Lincoln was Republican, and that's who ended slavery. Science been politicized. It's easy to. That's a very, very good line. Because that's usually an argument that they use. That's an argument that a lot of people try to use. I've seen it. I, I'm not, like, bashing anybody here. I'm... At, I'm I would have much rather had Trump in office than the fucking senile old man right now. Just saying. So, if you know where my views are, that's where my views stand. What I'm trying to say is... That's an argument that I feel like is used every once in a while, and they're it. All I can do is make fun of them. I'm sorry to say, but it's all it's all I can do. It's something from 200 years ago and something from today. I understand it. It's just, it's just weird. I I understand where you're coming from, but just don't use that argument. Just don't use it. A mask became a symbol of which side you believe But you'll never cure a sickness till you cure the greed Because the problem with our natural immunity is it's free Society is broken Want you locked inside a cubicle Addicted to pornography, liquor, and pharmaceuticals Tell you that you're fat and poor and you were never beautiful Then tweet how much they love you when they hear about your funeral Mmm. That was disgusting That was a good bar that one was good. Because once again, ain't that the fucking truth? We can't be free. Can't have no peace till we're on the same team. But y'all are sheep. Blue the screens as part of the machine. Y'all are sheep. They want you dumb and dead. They divided you by race, religion, income, and sex. Made everybody right and left. The hatred got so intense. If the other side likes oxygen, you'll put a bag on your head. And oh. That was hard. He's basically saying both sides are so brainwashed that if one side likes oxygen, the other will put a bag over their goddamn head. That, oh. And the conspiracy theories labeled as misinformation is just a terrifying truth that scares the hell out of the nation. The system treating you like trash and you got rifles to aim with. Just imagine how they'll treat you when your guns get confiscated. Your oh, just imagine how they would treat you once your guns get confiscated. Because there's still people out there that fucking want that. And I'm... There was a TikTok that I did watch, like, I think it was, like, last week or something like that, a couple weeks ago. A few weeks ago, no, actually, yeah, definitely. Um, where it was about gun control, and it was very interesting. Actually, a very good way to put it, that the dude, ba basically, I'm along the lines of, it was a liberal versus Republican, I think, kind of thing going. Um, he just played both sides, and it was kind of funny. He was did it as, like, a joke, but, remember, one side said, uh, Oh yeah, I will give up my guns and I will trust and 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 I will trust my government. And then the other one said, "I won't be I won't let my guns get confiscated unless the government let gets their guns confiscated first. Because why trust a fucking government that has not been trustworthy in a good in a fucking long ass time? Something along those lines. I don't exactly remember it. It was like a, it was a Probably about three or four weeks ago now that I, that I saw that. So, but that's that that's the truth. To be honest, I'm I mean I have the same fucking belief where I'm like I'm not gonna let my guns be confiscated unless they comp unless their guns get confiscated first. Unless the government doesn't have guns, I'm not letting them take mine. See what I mean? George Orwell. 1984 was his last lecture. George called them thought police. Now we call them fact checkers. Government surveillance trying to catch. I actually read that book too. I even had teachers. I had teachers. I had a couple teachers that were like, I had a couple English teachers. They were saying, that's kind of what's happening now, isn't it? No shit. 
I understand some of y'all. I a lot of them shifted over from being liberal to being cent to be to being like centrist. No, I'm, I'm not even kidding about that. A lot of them shifted because of the bullshit. Because it's hard to believe everything. You can't believe one side over the other. And there's a lot of them that figured that out. I used to have a bunch. Of, yeah, I had a bunch of teachers at my damn school a couple like a year or two ago where we actually read 1984 and uh, what was it? What was the other one? Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit, 142, I don't know, I don't know, I don't, I don't remember exactly what it's called, Fahrenheit something. Four fifty one. that's what it was, I'm fucking just go, going brain dead over here. I read that too, um, and I was all, I'm just the way I thought about it, I'm like, that's exactly what's happening today. And it's hard to deny it. It's it really is. Um, Just back. imagine how they'll treat you when your guns get confiscated. Yep. George Orwell, 1984 was his last lecture. George called them thought police. Now we call them fact checkers. Government yep. surveillance trying to catch you. They don't ask questions. Mass incarceration equals capital for cash investors. The system isn't broke. It's working fine. Oppressive and chaotic is how it was designed. They say if we ain't doing nothing wrong, there's nothing to hide. While their agenda and intelligence completely classified. They don't teach your rights in school. You never learn them at all. Because they're easy to remove if you don't know what they are. The Here's the one thing, and here's the reason why I am the way I am today. I had a specific history teacher throughout my four years of middle school, and <clears throat> let me tell you, he completely ignored the curriculum, and he basically beat the Constitution and our rights and every word on that on that document into our heads from the constitution to the declaration of independence it's what he did and he also sat there and discussed that the party switch was a complete false narrative that was put together that that was put together by government officials because he said look at this in your history books ignore that it's not true which is the which is the fucking truth <laughs> I found that absolutely hilarious because I had a teach. I had two teachers actually like that. Actually, I had but but one of them I had for four years, and that dude, amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, he told us a lot of things that weren't taught in other schools. Um, simply because it probably wasn't in the curriculum because they didn't want you to learn it. I learned my rights. I learned my, I learned the Constitution, I learned Declaration of Independence, I learned all, I had to memorize all 50 states and all 50 capitals. Under him. I mean, bless him for not fucking going by the curriculum. I and mean, The fact that he still has a job there is insane. I'm surprised with how, pol with how like, polarized our uh, political situation is. Yeah, I'm absolutely surprised that he's still there. Rights in school, you never learn them at all. Cause they're easy to remove if you don't know what they are. The only people you can rule are the criminal ones. So they force you into corners till you're breaking the law. We can't be free. Can't have no peace till we're on the same team. But y'all are sheep. Blue screams just part of the machine. Y'all are sheep. All right. Oh, Jared Potter again? Oh, yeah. They fucking killed it, dude. They killed it again. The visuals on this video are also, like, insane. I never even pointed that out, but it's just because the message in this song was so crazy. This is probably, yeah, this is definitely some of his craziest visuals he's done. Probably the craziest ones, actually. I like the eye of the sun. That was awesome. I think it's 1984. Big Brother is watching you, right? I think that's 1984. I think. But Fair Enough 451 is very similar, but I don't, I don't think that's it. Because Fair Enough 451 is like an AI system type thing that they had, and it was kind of weird. I forget what they called it. I remember, the, I remember the main character's name in Fair Enough 451 being Montag or Montag. But I don't really remember what, it, what exactly was like the government force behind that besides them burning books. So... I don't know. 
I don't really remember. Some kind of like AI system. I forget what it was called. Can y'all comment it down below if you remember what that thing was called? Because it wasn't... it. Because the... Was it Orwell that also wrote that too? Well, when the author came out with that book, it was way before AI. It was way before a bunch, a bunch of this technology that we have now, even though he predicted most of it, which is dope. It's very, 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 very fascinating. But, um, yeah. I really enjoyed this one. The hook was completely different. The song had really, really good schemes. I thought the message was amazing. Yeah. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash the like button down below. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn notifications for notifications. Go out. Yeah, guys, I'll see y'all later. Peace.